Hi, I'm Erin Myers, and due to popular demand, I've made a quick tutorial on how to trim the clumber spaniels. Um, it doesn't do the entire body, but as we go on, I'll do more and more. This one contains how to do the feet, hocks, and ears. With Shamu, who we love so much. The audio is a little messed up because it's my first try in doing it. I really hope you guys enjoy it. And make sure you like and follow us on Facebook if you want to see more. Thank you. I like this kind. This kind. Clipper. Wall Arco with the uh, adjustable blade. A comb, or also known as a comb that works. It's a handler term for a uh, comb that works, because you'd be surprised that a lot of combs don't actually work. Straight edge scissors. I like to curve one. You can see the blade curve. And these are actually known as the flipper because you can hold them either way. Penny shears. This has a ton of teeth. The more teeth, the better. So we're going to start by cutting our nails. That way we can trim our feet. You want to make sure you uh, cut their nails before you cut trim their feet. You can get that really, uh, you can get their feet hair as short as possible. So, when we're saying the nails are light, it's very helpful so you can see the quick in their nail. Her nails are pretty short. I don't know if you can see that that well or not. Quick fish. Yeah, I guess you can. So, we're just going to take the tips off because her nails are already pretty short. So, um, I recommend lining it up. Don't hesitate when you cut nails, otherwise they know it's coming and they'll fight you more. So, Kind of line up your shot and squeeze. Don't don't squeeze slow. So again, line it up, get the tip, squeeze fast. Um, I don't know if you can see this, but I like to get where you can see a little shade of pink. That is perfect. Show nail trim. Pet nails a little different because um, if you cut them this short and somebody goes to walk their pet on concrete, 100% they'll start bleeding. So, but on the show trim. We're going to be a little more careful when you do stuff, so we can get them pretty tight. And again, line it up, squeeze, done. I'm bleeding ever so slightly. Sorry, I didn't seem bothered about it. That's good. Other side. Oh, that one's bleeding too. She's pretty tough. <laughs> but I see, honestly, like the faster you snip, um, now she's anticipating that I'm going to hurt her because I got that one really short. Um, quick stop powder is an absolute must because you really don't want the, your white dog bleeding at this point. So let me grab some powder. Quick stop powder. Put it on your finger and smash it into their nail. Don't try to put it in one of those things or try to use the lid or whatever because you really need it to make that seal. You don't want loose powder on there. You want it to be. Um, you want to see kind of, I'm sure there's a fancy word for what I'm looking for, but I can't think of it. Clipper, brush this up. Don't go digging into your exposed toenail. That'll hurt. Curved scissors. Just take it and follow the outline of the foot. I go just very slightly up. Um, the outside nail, the outside toenail, but you don't want to do that to all of them. On the front side here, this is really good. You can see that it's got the hair is a little longer, but you want to make sure they have all their weight down on their foot at this point. Her foot is solidly on the on the table, and again, you're just using a very sharp. Scissors. Cut these long hairs off. Right now, I, I like to do the outside of the foot first. And then use spinning shears on the top. You can see that I flip my scissors around to help 
uh, eat that same shape. That's that shape. digging into their feet. You don't want to clean out the stuff between their toes. But you do use um, the teeth on your thinning shears to kind of help pull that, the hair out. But like here that you can't really reach. This looks a little choppy here. So I'm just going to go ahead and clean this up. hair that sticks out right here. You kind of want to knock that down a little with thinning shears. So like I was saying, you want to have their full weight on their foot. You don't want to go picking their foot up to trim it um, because then that changes the shape of it. You're not going to be picking up their feet in the rain. So you do that when you're trimming it. So um, you can clipper the fur underneath their pads. I actually don't tend to do that. I just rather cut it off. You don't want to, there's a little bit of hair right here that always grows right there. When you're following and trimming the front of their foot, you don't want to follow it completely around. You want to stop right here and then kind of make a line, at least from the front, from this, that, this furnishing hair here and follow it to like where their foot starts to shape here. So that all creates a line right here. Yes, you can see. Right here, there's an indentation. But if I were to cut this out, that would make it look like her front stands out, and she doesn't. So if those stray hairs bug you, you can grab your thinning shears and kind of knock them down a little bit. But don't ever, 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 ever dig into this part of their hair. So if you want to trim up this hair, you can comb it down. Use your hand to comb this all down. Let's smooth it down. And then make it nice and flat against their pad. And I actually like to rock it around a little bit to kind of pull that hair back. And then you can kind of see this stuff that's long. And some dogs, man, it'll come all the way forward. It's crazy. Um, you can use your straight edge to just knock that stuff off. So that kind of takes the length off, but you're still, you can see that hair's still there. We didn't dig into it. So, um, yeah, there you go. So rear foot and hot. Cut their nails. So, um, again, when you're cutting their nails, you don't want to pull out. You want to make sure they keep their knee in. So when you're cutting it, you don't ever want to um, have their knee pop out. So it's very important. Knee in. Actually, I'll put my um, arm on the under underside of their leg to kind of help stabilize it. And then um, I push out with my hand and thumb one nail at a time to cut them. And see right now, she can't kick her leg forward because my arm is away. And, um, you know, their rear nails tend to be a little longer than their front nails. Um, so you don't have to go, you can kind of do this a little, a little bit more blind than the front. Because they don't have to be as precise as the front feet. Now, I'm sure there's dog handlers out there who's like, oh my god, you're yeah, happy to do But there's enough hair covering up their foot back here that you don't want to. You don't want to break them. You don't break yourself trying to cut their real feet. Real, real nails really short. So um, on the back, I do the pads first. Put the foot up in the air. And then, um, again, See, this is the tricky part because you don't really want them to kick their toes out like she is. You kind of want to wait for them to settle down on their foot in a natural position. So um, I can make her do it again. This, when they have their hip, when they have their pad up off the ground, you don't want that right there when their pad is up. Bad, bad, bad. Don't 
try to trim their foot like that because it's really not going to be a problem. So just reset it and get them to stand on their, on their pad, not behind their pad. Even if you have to kind of hold your foot there with your hand. So um, you could pick this up here and trim the outside there. Now with them, you don't want to dig in and expose this right here. Uh, that's more of a springery way of trimming their hocks and feet. And um, they're, I mean, they're a little bit more rustic and natural. When I trim their hocks, take the brush, take the brush it up, take the brush it in, take the brush it down. As crazy as that sounds. And then I try and trim off as much as possible. So actually, I'll pick up their foot and anything that falls below the pad it's really easy to just with the curved side up knock that all off even on the inside take this side really tight because um because they have such short little legs um the more hot hair is just gonna mess up their movement so you don't want big fluffy golden hocks and uh, springer hawk unless you're trying to hide something. So I go through with my thinning shears and blend it in and make it look nice. I think you can see this. So once again, you always want them to be standing as naturally as possible. Come right now, cut it off. There's no, absolutely no need to have a ton of hot hair on a clumber stand. It was really stupid when there's, when this, if this is bottom heavy down here and it kind of flares out from behind. It's really dumb. I can move her forward so you guys can see a little better. So, she probably does not understand what's happening here. Yeah, you can see there a lot of that bulk is gone. And so now I just keep going and blending in the stuff that I chopped off earlier. So that's basically how you mark the length you want it and then blend it in. Comb it down, fluff it up, and then make a straight line and just cut off a little bit on the top. And then lastly, I go through, hopefully you can see this, just cut off this part that sits on the top of their pad. Make that as short as possible. So once again, you're kind of losing that. You're trying to eliminate that bell-bottoming look that they tend to get. here and you can see from the side how pretty that looks. Nice clean, short hop, no crazy hair, she doesn't need it. Now we're going to trim her face and ears, even though she's already perfect. Clippers on the longest setting, which is a 10 on your adjustable clippers. You just be kind of gentle when you do this. You don't want to dig in and clean off the um, the velvety part. You want that to stay, but you want to knock the whiskers down. And so you'll find, um, especially if you're working with a breed that has a really smooth face, and that's what you see, like Dobermans, um, you're just going to have to get over the fact that there's going to be a little bit of a whisker left, because if you shave that face down with skin, you're going to regret it, I promise you. So, You kind of want to accentuate their brow usually, and so, um, but again, you don't want to go digging in there like in a little So you just kind of gently, you go up into their eye crease. You know, you just kind of saw away at it almost. You don't want to 
if you go too fast and dig too hard, you're going to create clipper lines and um, I'll be ugly. You know, watching a movie, I like, nice. So, clippers, best part here is you can always clipper the inside of your ears. That helps to air out um, their very moist ears now. And um, they like to clipper your ears. They might as well just it out. Leave this fluff here. Leave this brow hair here. And leave the fluff on the top of their ears for heaven's sake. Don't take it off your way right away. However, turn it at the very I start with a uh, straight up and just again, not that long. And you can follow this around, but don't. I see the front part, not with the straight up. Again. So now you can see we have a straight up. Let me put this in here. And then um, you can try to get fancy on dogs that have more hair back into here and you know, round it up. But she didn't have a lot, so I'm going to show you how to do Round off the tips of their ears. They're actually supposed to have a line for here. 